I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. All right, come here, come closer, come closer. Some men don't want to be with the women they're with. They just can't live with the idea of that woman being with another man. Now, what do I mean by this? Don't worry, because we're gonna talk about it right now. So this idea comes from a conversation I was having with a friend of mine, and they were actually in this situation where they felt as if like, you know, the ex was trying to get back with them. And, you know, because I guess they realized that they were actually in a good and healthy relationship, but the man, for whatever reason, didn't see it and blew up the spot and they're no longer together. Now, after this man has done some exploring, you know, when I mean exploring necessarily doesn't mean like, you know, mental health wise, but exploring as like talking to other women, he then came to realize that you know what, the person I was with was actually a good person to be with. But this thought did not come from him actually exploring and talking to other women. This thought actually came from him finding out that she was dating other men. Now, what is it about men, like when we see our ex or we see somebody we used to date with another man, we may, you know, get upset or whatever, right? Um, which first and foremost, like if you're broken up with the person, it shouldn't matter, you know, who they're dating or who they're talking to, right? Because you guys are broken up. It doesn't matter, right? But sometimes with men, we don't really understand that concept because we are so blinded in our pride. You know, our pride is something that we hold near and dear to us. So the idea of a woman being with another man, even though they're not together, can hurt a man's pride, right? It can hurt the ego, it can make them feel some type of way, it can make them actually maybe see things in hindsight as 2020 was where, where it's like, okay, actually this person I was with wasn't that bad. Maybe I didn't see it at that time. You know, oh, this person, maybe the woman was very supportive and the man didn't see it, or the woman cooked or like, you know, went all out on his birthdays all the time, or, you know, spent a lot of time with him, but, in the relationship, the man didn't see it, right? The man probably wants that little 20% that he wasn't getting in the relationship, right? But the rest of the 80 was fired. The rest of the 80 was fired. Now that the man is no longer in the relationship and seeking that 20%, thinking you're going to get the other 80% to get whole in a relationship, it just doesn't happen, right? Or maybe even during the relationship, trying to find that other 20% with other women. You know what I mean? So that other 20%, he may have found it, but don't realize that other 80% was probably more valuable than that 20% that he was trying to seek. You know what I mean? <laughs> and now the tricky part is that the man now realizes that he had a good thing and now trying to get back with this old thing because that 20% that he thought was just the, the pinnacle and would make him so happy, he found it and did not realize that the other 80% is what he really needed. The other 20% was not of substance you know what i mean the 80 percent is what was more substantial than that 20 percent. so this may come in the form of you know sliding back in their dms trying to get back with your ex you know trying to hook up you know trying to you know shoot text messages or phone calls you know the, the man usually trying to shoot a shot again once he realizes that the person that he was with probably wasn't that bad of a person to begin with and sometimes women may fall into the, hey, like, you know, we can make things work or, you know, the man may try to lure the woman back in and try to have a, a, a better relationship or maybe thinking things will change. So if you're considering to get back with the man who is strictly trying to get back with you because his ego is broken and his pride is broken and he didn't get that 20% that he thought he was going to get by not being with you, there's not going to be any change in the relationship. There's not going to be any change in the situation. Whatever broke you guys up is going to break you guys up again. Or maybe it's going to become even worse, right? Even if a man's trying to get back with a woman for that simple fact, you know, that is going to be a foundation of a toxic relationship. You know, the man's not coming back because, you know, he's trying to make things work or, you know, he really loves you or he wants to be with you. He just can't stand the thought and the feeling of, a woman being with another man. And this thought doesn't only have to be, you know, an eternal thought a man has. It could come from outside sources, you know what I mean? Fellas, you guys know you guys lost a good one. People around you know you lost a good one. You know, you're going to hear about it. You know, you're going to hear about it from family, friends, 
you know, your ego's going to be hurt. You're going to be like, hey, I messed up. You know, I'm trying to now, I'm trying to mend things. And you don't want to go through the embarrassment of actually trying to have somebody have the privilege of being with, you know, a good woman, the woman that you lost. But with men, we do have to check our ego. You know, we do have to check our ego before we even consider trying to get back with a woman that we were previously with, you know, because if you're going into a situation like that, and that's the foundation, you're going to, again, find yourself in the same situation as you were before. You know what I mean? The situation did not change. You have to really, really think about what's the real reason you're trying to get back with this woman. You know what I mean? Like, what's the real reason? You know what I mean? If it has to do with pride, ego, you know, you worrying about what other people may say, your self-esteem, you know, that's not a good reason to get back with a person. You know, whatever happened, you have to deal with it, you have to sit with it, you have to process it, you have to work through it. You know what I mean? But you getting back with that person just to fill that void is not going to help you. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not going to help you because you're going to become in the same cycle, the same cycle, the same cycle, the same cycle is going to go on and on and on again until you actually get into a relationship or be with somebody for the right reasons and not it being a foundation of your ego and your pride, you know, not in the foundation of, hey, I don't want to see her with anybody else. You know what I mean? Now, fellas, I'm going to holler at y'all real quick. If you guys see yourself in this situation, right, and if you guys are together or not together, there's two things you're going to have to do, right? It's either one, you got to get your act together and get your stuff together and try your best to become a better man and a better person for that woman, or two, you just gotta have to let her go. <laughs> You're just gonna have to let her go because that is not going to help you, nor is it gonna help her if you guys are together because you can't deal with her being with another man. You have to let that go. You have to be able to deal with the mess you made. <laughs> That's just what it is. Now, ladies, I'm gonna at y'all just real briefly. If you find yourself a man trying to get back with you and he's trying to get back with you after, you know, you've been dating somebody else and maybe he's been asking questions about this person or, you know, he's saying like, well, I can't find anybody else like you. So I want to get back with you. You have to ask yourself these two things. Do you want to live your life in peace or do you want to live your life in pieces? Do you want to actually have a peaceful life or do you want to be miserable? Right. And this may come in the form of you being with this person or not being with this person. Right. You have to really have a deep dive conversation with yourself and maybe get some guidance from like other people in making the decision of whether or not you want to get back with this person or not. Right. Typically, there's always these hopes and these dreams and these all these these fantasy thoughts. Uh, things are going to change when in actuality things may not change. You know, things may have not changed. It's probably sometimes better or best for the men and the women to actually think about what does it look like for you guys to be together versus you guys being apart. Now, if you're trying to be together just for the sake of not feeling bad or like not feeling depressed and feeling as if you can lean on each other to get through this, that's not a a healthy way of looking at why you should get back together. Now, sometimes it's harder, again, it's harder for you guys to not be together. Now, specifically for men, you have to deal with that loneliness, that sadness, that depression. You have to deal with those, a lot of those different things that you may be experiencing that you don't want to experience and you want to skip the step by trying to get back together. And it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? So men, really, really think about and really, really consider when it comes to your pride, your ego, you know, the thought of, you know, the woman you used to date, being with somebody else, your jealousy, you know, those insecurities. Don't allow those feelings and those thoughts have you make an irrational decision. And this is a decision that's strictly going to be based off of your emotions. You never want to make a decision that's strictly based on your emotions. That is no way to make wise decisions. You know, fellas, you got to be smarter. Women, you have to be a more observant of these men trying to get back with you just for the simple fact of them not wanting you to, wanting you to be with another man. Because, again, that can lead into other, other things. I hope this video was helpful. Again, my name is Terrence Stewart. 
licensed clinical social worker. I appreciate y'all tapping in. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Share this with somebody if you found it helpful or if you feel like somebody can benefit from this video. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all take care. Peace.